Okay, so now we'll do the radix sort. So we'll just do some doc here because there's a description. So we'll just say radix sort driver demonstrates. Actually, we don't need to do in that class. We'll do that in main. Uh, where is the radix sort itself? Oh, I guess that is the radix sort. So it, it's just from the main method, I guess. So here we'll, uh, it just works in the main method. So here we can just say a radix sort driver demonstrates the use of queues in the execution of a radix sort. <laughs> so we'll move that down. Uh, this one imports java.util, the whole thing. And then here we'll create all, an array. So into array list points to like we're gonna instantiate it like this. I forgot the actual name. Uh, four, five, six, eight, eight, seven, six, five. Six five four three seven eight six five four five three two nine nine eight seven three two four one six five eight nine six six two two one two one one num object sorry integer num object into digit and num then he will create a queue of type integer so I think Q is just an interface again the built-in one digit Q I don't know why they call it digit queues Uh, they they cast it to a linked list of type integer array. It's a little confusing. Uh, new linked list of or of ten array elements. Then we have a for loop here. For int digit val is equal to zero. Digit val is less than or equal to nine. Sometimes I miss parts of the code, so hopefully it's all there. Digit val plus plus. Digit queues. What's happening? Why is it going like that? Digit, oh, digit queues of array index digit val points to cast a queue of integer new linked list.
new link list of type integer. So it seems like it's an array of type Q, which is storing integer. So it's storing, integer, uh, it's storing Qs of type integer object in the array. So we'll step through it to make sure. Then they got some, a few more for loops in here. For in position is equal to zero, position is less than or equal to three. Position plus plus. Or in scan is equal to zero. Scan is less than list. Scan is less than list dot length. Scan plus plus. Ten points to string dot value of list of index scan. Digit points to character dot digit. Of temp dot care at three minus the position. It's supposed to be temp three minus position, comma ten. Digit cues of index digit dot add new integer of list of array index scan okay that's a bunch of uh, jargon here they're saying they don't like that unnecessary boxing So I really don't feel like writing the rest of this, but I guess I'll, I could just paste it and we could step through it. It's not that many lines left, so we'll just, I'll just write it. I've been, I think I've been coding this stuff for like three hours now. I've been making videos. The searching and sorting uh, videos have it taken like three hours now, but that's okay. I just didn't want to do it tomorrow, but we'll just, we'll just continue here. Print digit val. I was gonna paste it, but I'll it's fine. I'll just write it. So then, digit val is less than or equal to nine, and then digit val plus plus So while not digit queues of array index digit val dot is empty. object points to digit queues of array index digit file also that I don't want to get anything wrong to thought remove but hopefully it should be fine so list of array index num points to num ob object dot int value num plus plus Then here there's there's a few comments I missed as well. So I'll put the sorted list or int scan is equal to zero. Scan is less than list all length. Scan is less 
can plus plus. System dot out dot print LN. What's happening with this? Uh, list of index scan. So for int. Uh, okay, so it's out of the method. There should be something missing here. Uh, okay, so in list string temp. That's what happens when they don't. They just use one for without for loops here without braces, and then they use braces after. You can get mixed up pretty easy like that. So four, four. For while, is that an extra one? Unless there's a no, it doesn't look like there's an error. Foreign position, foreign position is equal to zero. Then this one for a scan. It's equal to zero. That brace. Okay, this one wasn't supposed to end. Take that out. For in scan equals to zero. Scan is less than less than length scan plus plus. For in digit file is equal to zero. Less than or equal to nine. While close, close, and close four, and then close. Are we missing one more? Yes, we are. Okay. The chewy fine. That's a lot of stuff going on. But we will just try to start with these. We'll set some breakpoints here. We'll first just run it to see if it works. Where is that? So list of index num points to num object dot. Okay, dot int value. with a capital V run it something else is wrong here so for so T temp where was T temp int min T temp where did I get that from? Okay, sorting, we don't need this anymore. I don't know why. It's saying there's an error there. Or we're not even calling that method. Bad operand types for binary operator operator minus. Okay, we'll just delete that all. Run it. Again, you can uh, debug that stuff yourself. Should be fine. So what it does, it's, it's a sorting thing. So it sorts. There you go. Nothing. 
doesn't do anything crazy, but there's a lot of kind of a lot of code in here. Not that much, but Radix sword. Would you, if you're just sorting a bunch of numbers, do you really want to use this one? Well, no. We'll just use one of the easier ones, right? Like, do you really need recursion to sort stuff? Probably not. So we really could just use the selection sort. It works fine. Or whatever. But we can. We'll set a breakpoint. We'll start debugging. So we create, and let me make that a little bit smaller. Actually, it might be a little bit too small. We'll just see like that. So, uh, quick, create an int array here. Named list. There we have our list here. So then we're going to create a queue. So Q of type integer object array named digit queues. We're going to cast it to a linked list because, again, we can't create a queue. It's just an interface. So we need to uh, instantiate it with one of its implementing classes, like linked list or array list. So usually queues, you use a linked list, I guess. You might be able to use an array list as well. But instead of casting it to T object, we're casting it to linked list of type integer array, and then it's just so it's a new linked list array. That's all it is. It's a Q array, but it's really a linked list array. But it's kind of silly because it's putting a linked list in an array. Really, I mean it's. It's kind of silly, like why would you need to use an array to do it, but that's what they want to do. So it should, we'll click, step in. Right here, digit queues, all elements are null. It's really an array of 10 elements. I think each element It's, it's really a, a linked list in each array index. It's kind of silly. I'm not really sure what's the point of it. But anyways, we'll just go uh, for digit val. It's equal to zero and less than equal to nine plus plus. Digit queues of array index zero points to new queue of integer, new linked list integer. So it's going to create, I guess, more queues. So perhaps it's putting a, in each index, it's putting another queue, another linked list, which is kind of confusing. We'll step in, step in, and you can see index zero, in index zero, it has another linked list uh, queue, basically. It's a, it's a, link, it's a, link, it's a linked list. So it's not an array. But it's a, it's a linked list in the array index. So it's going to create 10 of them, I guess. So it's a 10, in, a 10 index, 10 array indexes. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's going to be putting 10 linked lists in those indexes. See linked list at memory location 951, at memory location 952, 953, 954, 955, 956. So there you go, we have our linked list in our linked list array of 10 elements, which is in implementing the queue interface. Kind of confusing, but it, it it's okay, it works for position equals to zero. Position is less than, let me just close that. Position is equal to zero, position is less than equal to three, position plus plus. Okay, 
why is it doing that to the braces, God? I might have to actually restart that. Because I don't think it's going to work. I hate when it does that. I, you know, I don't follow code like that. Just mixes thing up, mixes things up for me. For other people, it may be easier, but I prefer to just leave it like like that. I've always coded like that, like even in C and stuff. And other languages. So we'll just uh, start now. Start again. Sorry. We'll skip that. Oh, we have to go through it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Position equals to zero, less than equal to three. Now scan is equal to zero, less than equal to eleven. So this is this is a nested for loop, and the outer one is is uh sorry the outer one is being tracked with position or iterated with position and the inner one is being iterated with scan. You can use I and J. I prefer to use I and J as well to make it easier. But also it's good to practice with other names to train yourself. So uh, scan is equal to zero, scan is less than 11. Why is it 11? I thought it was. Ten only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that's strange. Might be a typo. <coughs> Excuse me. So zero. Here we go. Step in ten points to string dot value of list. Do we have something called list? Uh, okay, this is our array right here, named list. It has values in it, four-digit keys or something. So ten points to string value of list of array index scan. So scan is zero. We'll go to list. We'll go to zero. We we'll get seven eight four three. So we'll check temp should be seven eight four three. Digit val digit points to character dot digit. Hemp dot care at zero one two three minus position, so it's gonna be should be three. It's three. Uh, I don't think I use that character dot digit too often. You can check what it is, but everything here was integer, so I'm not sure why they're using string dot value of. Never use strings. In this, oh, we did uh, string temp. Okay, we created a string temp, so it's converting it to a string, perhaps. So digit queues, digit dot add new integer. So digit, what's digit queues again? Okay, it's our like super array here with linked lists. So we'll go to Q, uh, digit queues, 0 to 9. So it's digit queues of array index digit, which is 3. This one here. Dot add new integer list of array index scan. Scan is 0. So 7843 should be in digit queues of array index digit. Okay, so now we'll go to digit queues, array index 3, we should have an element, 7843. I'm not really sure what the uh, logic is behind the sorting. But anyways, it's going to iterate. So now we have scan equals to 1, scan is less than list all length. Should be nine or something. 
less than 10, so zero, index 0 to 9. Uh, so scan is equal to 1. Once we go through, it should iterate to 1. So scan is 1. 10 points to string dot value of list of array index scan. So list of array index 1. 4, 5, 6, 8. So 10 points to 4, 5, 6, 8. Right there, digit points to character dot digit of temp dot care at 3 minus position is 0 so is that a 8 digit is 8 digit queues of array index digit points to add, I mean adds new integer list of array index scan so 4, 5, 6, 8 goes in digit queues of array index 8. I don't, I don't really know the logic behind this. But anyways, we can skip through that. It's just going to do the same thing. It's kind of a silly code, isn't it? Some scientist in like the 1800s was like coding this or something, writing this out, and thought he was smart creating this formula for people to do like 200 years later <laughs> okay so now we have all our we have our queue filled is that a queue uh, list what's what's list sorry we have our like super queue thing array list queue it's full now Looks like there's a two elements on each thing. So again, th these codes take a long time to go through. Uh, it maybe would have iterated again and changed it up, but it looks like each. What's happening with zero? There's nothing in zero. So in index one, we have two things, two values. So it looks like in each index there is another array list inside holding two values. So all digit queues of array index digit val zero is not empty. Digit queues, what was digit val zero? Digit queues of array index 0 is not empty. Well, it is empty. Because that index 0 is empty, then it skipped back up here. Because it exited that while loop, then it went to the for loop. Loop back up to digit value equals 1 now. All digit queues of index digit value, which is 1, is not empty. That should be true. Now, more object points to digit queues of array index digit value. So we're going to remove this one. Oh, sorry, this. And then uh, list of array index num points to num object, which is the one that are removed. So it puts it back into the list, I guess. Where's list? List of array index num, which is zero. And then num plus plus. So 
So it's going to go through that, do that, skip through it just to see what happens. So I guess after that, it's done and iterates back up to do it again. Oh, that's wonderful. Just to sort a few values, it's doing all this stuff. I mean, I think we'll just skip it. You can go through it like it's we'll be here all day doing this. Oh yeah, wow. Look how many cl times I've clicked. Oh my god. <laughs> just for assorting 10 numbers, you're going to do this. I think that's very inefficient to be honest. Of course it is. Imagine doing this with like millions of numbers like for an account of some sort wow oh my god I think I've like literally clicked that a million times unless it's looping an infinite loop but I don't think so because we already clicked run and it worked. Unless there's an error because there was a missing index. Oh no, wow. That's crazy. I literally clicked that a hundred, like a billion times. I mean, if you want to, I mean, if you really want me to do that with you guys, I'll take like, I swear that's going to take like 12 hours to do. Just to sort like t nine numbers. 10 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, to 10, oh, okay, 11 numbers, that's crazy, but I think if you guys really want to do it, you can do it, if you really want to walk through it, I mean, it's nothing too complicated, you can look up these methods in the Java docs, Oracle docs, if you need to, to find out what they are if you're lost and then you can just see that we're it's just uh, instantiating a queue which is an interface but a, a queue can only be instantiated with a link list or an array list I think so it's uh, setting it equal to new link list of type integer and it's going to be an array and it's setting it to a new link list of 10 array elements So it's creating a linked a new link list. Uh, it's creating a new array, and each array has a link list in it. Each array index is a linked list, basically, and it's really a queue. It's implementing a queue. So it's kind of confusing, but there's there's uh, so many iterations. In this, we went nine times three times nine, I think. Nine times three times nine something like that nine times three times nine yeah some something like that so there's a lot of iterations on this uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video take care